Epictetus, a great and renowned Stoic philosopher, once said, We can't control what happens, but we can choose how we react. Imagine using the wisdom of Stoicism like a shield to protect yourself during life's storms, especially when dealing with narcissists and difficult people. Whether it is a boss who belittles you, a family member who loves drama, or anyone who drains your energy, Stoicism has the key to help you. The Stoics believed in standing tall and unshaken amidst the storm, rather than just surviving. The goal is not to fight fire with fire, but to equip yourself with mental armor. By transforming Stoic wisdom into a shield against the negativity that narcissists thrive on, you can not only endure but thrive in their presence. This video is not just a repetition of old ideas, it is about applying ancient Stoic strategies to modern day challenges. We will guide you beyond mere endurance and towards flourishing in the face of narcissistic manipulation. Imagine transforming their attempts to unsettle you into opportunities for personal growth and inner peace. If you are ready to claim a life marked by serenity and strength, regardless of the surrounding chaos, join us in exploring these stoic principles. By understanding and applying these key strategies, you will not only protect your inner peace, but also cultivate a resilience that no narcissist can penetrate. Remember, choosing to watch this video sets you apart. You are not here by accident, you are here to make a change. Let's embark on this journey together and make it happen. 1. Reclaim your peace, minimizing the impact of a narcissist. Imagine your mind as a flourishing garden. Would you spend time watering the weeds or nurturing the vibrant flowers. Engaging with a narcissist can be tempting to focus on, but remember that every moment spent analyzing their actions drains your energy from nourishing your passions and joy. Instead, strategically shift your focus. Each conscious choice to prioritize your growth over their drama is a seed planted for a healthier, more vibrant you. Creating boundaries isn't just about defense. It's setting the rules in the game where you're both the player and the referee. You determine what's allowed in your space and if the narcissist crosses the line, calmly but firmly remind them of the boundaries. This isn't about confrontation, but honoring your well-being. It might mean stepping away from draining situations or saying no more often, not selfish, but necessary. Think of every manipulative tactic or snide remark from the narcissist as a pebble in your shoe. Annoying, but ultimately your choice to remove. By consciously choosing to minimize their impact, you're not ignoring the problem, but approaching it strategically. Remember, Seneca said, we suffer more often in imagination than in reality. Much of the distress can be amplified by our expectations and fears of the narcissist's actions Instead, focus on what you control, your reactions and emotional well-being. Your strength lies in the steadiness of your resolve, not in reacting loudly. Letting go of the need to control or change the narcissist frees up space for what truly matters. Invest in uplifting relationships, fulfilling activities and personal growth. This isn't just about minimizing a negative influence, it's about maximizing your own potential. Your peace, happiness and growth are your priorities, and you have the power to safeguard them. Embrace this path with courage and clarity, knowing each step leads to a more resilient and fulfilled you. 2. Challenge the inflated self with grace. Peeling back the layers of someone's exaggerated self-image, especially a narcissist's, requires a delicate touch. It's a subtle art, like that of a detective who uses questions as their most potent tool. You're not there to accuse, but to unearth the truth through careful inquiry. Ask questions such as, how did you arrive at that conclusion, to invite them to introspectively examine their own narratives. This isn't about doubting their capabilities, but encouraging genuine self-reflection. 
When done with curiosity and devoid of judgment, this practice can lead to profound insights for both parties. Remember the Stoic principle. Focus on what you control. You cannot change a person, but you can change how you interact with them. When the narcissist talks about themselves instead of reacting, view it as an opportunity to practice patience and understanding. Engaging with their stories through thoughtful questions puts them on the defensive, shifting the power dynamic without playing their game. It's about maintaining your inner peace, your fortress against the siege of their ego. Adopting a stance of detached curiosity is your shield. It doesn't aim to diminish their shine, but to prevent it from blinding you. By gently questioning their narratives, you subtly reinforce your own resilience. This method isn't a direct confrontation, but a way to navigate their illusions with grace. In this dance of diplomacy and insight, you discover a path to tranquility. You don't just survive the interaction, you transform it into a growth opportunity, potentially for both. This is the essence of true wisdom, inspiring change through reflection, not resistance. The goal isn't to change the narcissist, an impossible feat for most, but to shift how their narrative influences your world. This subtle yet impactful strategy aligns with the stoic practice of prosoche, attentive awareness. Through this lens, every interaction becomes a chance for personal growth, reflection and maintaining inner peace. You're not just defending your tranquility, you're offering a potential beacon for those lost in their own illusions. This approach not only diminishes their power over your emotions, but also illuminates a path towards mutual understanding. And for them, perhaps, self-discovery. 3. Cultivate inner strength through therapy. Facing a narcissist can feel like being trapped in a relentless emotional roller coaster. However, true power doesn't lie in outward battles, but in turning inward, where your true strength resides. Engaging in therapy might seem like a quiet act, but it's a profound revolution. Therapy is all about harnessing your courage to delve deep within, illuminating the hidden aspects of yourself you've avoided. It's your personal battlefield, where you fight not against others, but for your inner peace. Here, you learn that seeking external validation is a mirage, a fleeting oasis in the desert of self-doubt. Embarking on therapy is like unlocking a hidden door to personal growth. It's not about changing others, especially the narcissist whose actions are beyond your control. Instead, the focus shifts to the only terrain you truly govern, your inner world. Seneca expressed that the power lies not in acquiring everything, but in valuing and utilizing what we already possess. This wisdom guides us through therapy. Recognizing our present struggles as temporary challenges illuminates the path towards self-improvement. This is a bold act that demands the courage to face our vulnerabilities and transform them into strengths. Therapy is a process of unlearning the beliefs that chained us to toxic cycles and rediscovering our autonomy. Here, we craft our narrative not as a story dictated by others, but as our own, defined by our values, passions and joy. We build a fortress of self-worth, impenetrable by external forces, a testament to our resilience and the transformative power of self-reflection. By embarking on this path of therapy and self-discovery, we declare our independence from imposed narratives. We become architects of our fate, shaping a life that resonates with our deepest truths. This journey is filled with hope, a beacon guiding us back to our authentic selves, vibrant and undimmed by past trials. Through the lens of therapy, we embrace the Stoic principle our greatest freedom lies in choosing our responses, cultivating inner peace and living a life that echoes our truest selves. 
This path is a bold affirmation of our capacity to heal, grow and thrive regardless of future challenges. 4. Control your reactions, safeguard your peace. Guarding your mental space against the chaos created by a narcissist is like mastering serenity amid a storm. Narcissists crave your reaction and derive power from seeing you lose control. However, you have a secret weapon, the ability to choose how you respond. Remember the stoic principle, choose not to be harmed and you won't feel harmed. Don't feel harmed and you haven't been. Embody this wisdom when facing their tactics. By choosing your response with calmness and detachment, you not only protect your mental space but also elevate it. You demonstrate that you and only you control your inner world. That's not just powerful, it's liberating. Imagine the narcissist throwing their best punches, provocations, manipulations and the whole arsenal. But you stand firm, unfazed by the storm. It's like watching waves crash against a cliff. They may exist, but they can't erode your inner calm. Controlling your reactions is not about suppressing emotions or pretending they don't exist. It's about acknowledging them, taking a moment to step back and refusing to give the narcissist the satisfaction of seeing you ruffled. Picture yourself as the unshakable eye of a hurricane, even when everything around you is chaotic. That's the strength of controlling your reactions. You become the chess master in a world that never stops spinning. When the narcissist tries to checkmate you with drama, you pivot and choose your next move with precision. Creating space between their actions and your reactions is key. Your strength lies not in immediate retaliation, but in the silent pause that says, I see you, but I don't play by your rules. This pause becomes your fortress, your moment of clarity. Here, you decide that your peace is too precious to be disturbed by someone else's chaos. So, how do you make this a reality? Cultivate mindfulness and a healthy dose of self-reliance. Mindfulness helps you recognize your emotions without getting swept away by them. Self-reliance becomes a healthy resolve to protect your inner peace and refuse to be provoked into their game. Embrace the stoic practice of reflection, not just as a chore, but as a daily act of rebellion against the noise. By choosing to respond with calmness and detachment, you're not just protecting your mental space, you're elevating it, you're proving that you control your inner world. And that's not just powerful, it's liberating. Stepping into your power means recognizing that external chaos cannot shake the calm within. Today we have provided you with the tools to not only understand the tactics used by narcissists, but also to develop the resilience required to withstand their attempts to disrupt your peace. Just like a tree deeply rooted in self-awareness and strength, you will be steadfast in the face of manipulation. Remember, your journey towards maintaining tranquility amidst turmoil is not just about surviving, but also about thriving. By applying these principles, you are establishing a foundation for a life where your inner peace is unwavering, proving your growth and wisdom. As we reflect on this journey together, let's carry these lessons forward and integrate them into our daily lives. The road to self-mastery is continuous, but every step you take brings you closer to a more resilient and peaceful version of yourself. Are you ready to take the next step? Subscribe to get more content that empowers you on your journey to self-mastery. Like and leave a comment below to share your takeaways and engage with the community. We'll see you soon.